Now the psychotic masses are coming for Joe Rogan for the sin of having Dr. Robert Malone, the inventor of the mRNA vaccine platform, on his program. Nearly 300 scientists are demanding that Spotify censor Rogan's podcast, which is the number one in the world. They call Rogan and his guests questioning of vaccines and COVID policies medically and culturally dangerous. And they also claim Spotify, by hosting the podcast, is responsible for a sociological issue of devastating proportions. <laughs> Joining me now is Dr. Malone, who, of course, was on that podcast with Joe Rogan, and Alex Berenson, author of Pandemia. Dr. Malone, uh, I thought scientists were supposed to ask questions and test assumptions. Now that's being called dangerous misinformation. Right. In particular, one of the leaders here is Eric Topol. What's important, I'm amazed that the press has picked this up. This is only 270 people and their medical writers, nurses, all kinds of people. In contrast, the declaration in the Physicians International Alliance of Physicians and Medical Scientists, which is signed only by physicians and medical scientists, I'm the president of that organization, has over 16,000 signatories. This is a huge kerfuffle over 270 malcontents of mixed origin led by Eric Topol, who is uh, a shill for the administration at this point. This is, this is a non-story that's been blown up by the press. Alex, you too have been subjected to these censorious bullies. Uh, what's happening here? This seems to be a, a trend, particularly as concerns the evolving COVID information that we're all learning about day by day. Uh, I, yes, you're absolutely correct. Listen, I don't think Dr. Malone does it himself or those of us who uh, you know, are trying to raise questions about the vaccines any favors when he refers to himself as the inventor of mRNA technology. That's clearly a large exaggeration. And I don't think he does us any favors when he says that ivermectin has been proven to work. I think that's a huge overstatement of the case. But these are debates we should be having. He should be allowed yeah, to say and whatever and he wants, get the guest, wherever Alex, he so. wants, on, on, on Twitter and or anywhere else. And so should I. And Joe Rogan provides us a platform to talk. And mm -hmm. that is why they are going after him. We are allowed to disagree. I can disagree with Dr. Malone. He can disagree with me. The solution is not to ban us. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Malone, would you like to respond? I got to give you a few seconds here. Yeah, nine issued patents all filed in 1989, uh, all covering this technology, including the initial reduction to practice, all with my name on them. I would call that the original inventor and I wrote the initial disclosures, Alex. That was a low blow. In terms of ivermectin, okay. a colleague of mine just came back from Uttar Pradesh. It's widely used in Uttar Pradesh and they have flatlined their disease. So your, both of your statements are gonna fail with the test of time, but uh, that's not this discussion. In this case, what we've got is 270 malcontents whining because mm -hmm. of uh, people speaking the truth uh, on Joe Rogan. Uh, as I said, we've got over 16,000 signatories that are asserting exactly these same key things. And I'm here in Spain with Matthias Desmet, the academic with over 200, with over 130 peer reviewed papers who has synthesized this on the basis of decades and decades of prior academic scholarly work. The AP mm. has cited a, uh, a scientist who is actively involved in nudging ergo psyops and has promoted okay, that I want to get, as somebody uh, who's uh, saying mass formation isn't happening. Uh, yeah, I don't want to run out of time here. Uh, Alex, very quickly, CNN has jumped on this censored Joe Rogan bandwagon. Yeah. They had one of the signatories of that infamous letter on. Watch this. At the very minimum, it would be warning signs and banners that would be issued on a particular episode directing people to credible sources like the CDC or WHO um, on vaccine-related information um, or other sources. I know that YouTube removed the video version of the podcast, but that podcast is still available on Spotify, and that is a problem. Alex, are the yeah, CDC just... and the WHO credible sources of information given their track records? Uh... No, I mean, uh, you know, the CD, the WHO earlier this week just came out and said we shouldn't uh, be counting on any more boosters. Now, 
that months, this is after six months of the CDC pushing boosters on the American people. By the way, I want to say one last thing. Joe Rogan was right. There's a clip that's going around where he says that he mm -hmm. believes that myocarditis is higher post-vaccine yes. than post-infection in young men. The data is absolutely clear on that. He is correct about that. There's a preprint that came out on December 25th that shows exactly that. Joe Rogan was right. And But by the way, right or wrong, censorship is wrong. And content moderation is another word for censorship. And it and this, yeah. this, this drive to try to get people banned must stop. It's un-American. We will leave it there. Gentlemen, thank you. Have a great weekend.